Welcome back, everyone, and especially a big welcome back to my Daniel Defense Mark 18s. We're back with this incredible piece of machinery. Um, now, I wanted to just get back to this because I love this gun with all my heart. Uh, because it is a masterpiece and I it is a, also a pillar of the special operations community. And I also just said, hey, why not? I haven't uploaded in a while and Hey, I might as well just show all the upgrades I made to my Mark 18 since making my very first Rex's Armory video on it. So, without further ado, let's go and into it. Now, the whole gun uh, that I got here was originally just a regular stock Mark 18 that I bought from Daniel Defense. Now, I had to be very specific when I bought this gun. I had to wait for, I think it was like every other Friday because it would go in stock on the Daniel Defense website every other Friday and I had to wait literally I think it was at 6 p.m. every Friday and I had to check the website when it did become available it was like boom I had to buy it right then and there or within five minutes or else it would immediately go out of stock again so that's exactly what I did I purchased it sent it to my FFL they put me through all the background check stuff and I got this incredible baby. Love it. Now, upgrades that I made to it since having it. Uh, I tried to make a an upgrade to this pistol grip because, if I'm being honest, I was I was a little underwhelmed by the Daniel Defense pistol grip, uh, and I wanted to put something like a Magpul K2 or a BCM uh, pistol grip on there. But, however, I did not realize that. I needed a certain tool to get the pin out um, from the trigger guard because with this gun it's not like you can just uh, take out the pistol grip willy-nilly the pistol grip is attached to the trigger guard so I needed a certain pin to get the trigger guard out as well but unfortunately I messed up the pin when I was trying to remove it and now it kind of can't be removed so more on that later if I do decide to get a new one I'll probably send it to a gunsmith to get it to get that pin extracted or something like that but anyways I digress um let's go back to the pistol brace I upgraded the pistol brace to from an SBA 3 to an SBA 4 um now you're thinking why don't you just throw a stock on there be a man I know I want to I want to so badly however I am crossing into different states uh very soon and because of how much I'm going to be traveling, I, for my job, I'm not going to be replacing this anytime soon. I'm going to. I, I really want to, but I, I just, I can't yet. Uh, just due to laws and due to how much I'm going to be traveling. Um, I have kept the charging handle the same, Daniel Defense charging handle. Um, they got a good buffer in there, good buffer spring. I'm loving it. I do need to lube up this bulk carrier group, this from Daniel Defense, uh, quite a bit. Next time, uh, the the um, dust cover, the polymer dust cover. Um, I'm actually liking quite a bit. Uh, I I kind of I've I've heard complaints about people not liking polymer dust covers, but I'm going to quite like it. Going to quite enjoy it. Surefire white light. <sighs> Uh, not flagging you guys just showing you ah, how bright that is how bright this works um, Great light. I'm I, I put your fires on both on both my rifles so far and I am going to continue to run that The muzzle device is what's giving me the biggest issue right now muzzle device is just Daniel defense's standard birdcage flash hider um, These I mean it's standard birdcage hides flash pretty well but given that this is a short-barreled gun, it's throwing off quite a bit of flash. I mean, it's not gonna hide everything. And one thing I can do to stop that is to 
by a suppressor or a much better muzzle device. I'm probably going to go with the suppressor soon. However, I'm not going to be getting one anytime soon, at least not for the next couple of months. And this is because, like I said, I'm moving states and I'm not going to be able to get a suppressor in a different state for like six months or so. So I'm going to wait till I become a resident in that different state so that I can get the suppressor. Um, I think I'm going to go with probably a surefire or a rugged suppressor or like a rugged razor. I've heard pretty good things about the rugged razors. Uh, and they just recently came out with a 5.6 version of their razor. So I'm actually kind of stoked on that. Um, foregrip. BCM foregrip. Now, I know what you're thinking about what I said about vertical foregrips in the last video I made. Well, me being a dummy, I didn't do my research <clears throat> until I found out there's there is kind of a way you can there is a way you can put uh, vertical foregrips on a gun like this with such a short barrel, and that is because if your gun has an overall length of 26 inches or more, you are allowed to put a vertical foregrip on it, and it, that does not reclassify it as a rifle. This reclassifies it as a firearm weird definitions but hey it works and i can put a vertical foregrip on this now um now what i'm doing now i now what i'm doing in terms of red dot sights red dot sights i upgraded to a vortex crossfire i have banged this red sight red dot sight up um it's working very well and one of the reasons that i use the crossfire is because it's got because vortex gives me lifetime warranty uh, I'm able to change this out anytime it breaks, such that uh, I'm go it breaks to the point of no return. Uh, it holds zero incredibly well, uh, actually pretty pretty dang well. If you're looking for a good red dot sight and you don't want to spend as much money uh, on like something like an Aimpoint or an EOTech, this is a pretty good alternative. Um, I'm I'm loving this red dot sight. I've been running this for a while. And yeah, uh, now you're also wondering what is this I put on the on the gun? I put some electrical tape to hold down my wires, um, and it's working pretty well. It's holding holding everything down very well, fairly well so far. I am going to continue to use electrical tape until I get like a uh, probably a, a sling a sling retainer or something like that. Now. The one big thing I do have, have complaints about after running so many rounds through this gun. <sighs> Trigger. Daniel Defense. I know, I know I know you can do better than this. I, I love I love Daniel Defense with all my heart, but this trigger leaves so much to be desired. It's it's kind of disappointing. I mean it works it works as as a regular mil spec trigger should, but it's just not that great. I mean, it, it's so it's so freaking heavy, man. I, I would I would I'm I'm honestly on my Palmetto State Armory lower. That's on my BCM upper. I have a better time using that trigger than I ha than I do using this one. So, Daniel Defense. That's my only complaint. That's really my only big complaint about this gun. So, DD, I think y'all gotta up your game with your triggers. Other than that. You all have made a solid rifle, sol oh, not rifle, solid air pistol or firearm right now. So now when I want to, when I want to talk about uh, what this firearm is, its functionality, what I, what I would possibly use this for, um, I would use this for, I, 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 I struggle with home defense because I, I would absolutely freaking love to use this rifle, this pistol as a home defense AR however because of where I live because I, I live in more of a tight-knit neighborhood I worry about this going I worry about the rounds going through walls and possibly through to my neighbor's houses and stuff like that so unless you live unless you have a good amount of property and you're not in much more of a close-knit neighborhood like I am I would say go for it use use this AR for home defense however in my situation like I said I would not I would more likely use probably 
something in the in the range of nine millimeter or or like a pistol caliber carbine something like that to avoid any over penetration uh but yeah loving loving my mark 18 and for what i want in life um for the house i do want to end up getting in the future this will this will work perfect for that kind of defense scenario but anyways stay on the fence mark 18 thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hey watch out for those wrist rockets <laughs>